Hello, thank you all for tuning in. Today, on International Day of the World's Indigenous Peoples, Canada's Sports Hall of Fame is proud to launch one of the most critical initiatives our organization has ever been involved with, and we are honored that you are joining us for this celebratory event. The next 15 minutes will include beautiful blessing ceremonies from First Nations, Métis, and Inuit elders, and impactful messages from some of the incredible individuals who have supported the creation of this resource. As historical storytellers, Canada's Sports Hall of Fame is honored be, to be introducing a curriculum aligned educational resource that presents the rich sporting history of Indigenous Hall of Famers in hopes of prompting conversations about equity and inclusion through the lens of sport. The Indigenous Sport Heroes Education Experience aims to educate and inspire youth across Canada sparking conversation in classrooms and at kitchen tables across this country. This digital multimedia exhibit is the culmination of learning from and collaboration with the Indigenous Hall of Famers, Indigenous organizations and sporting museum and historical partners. We are grateful for the immense contributions of our partners in this initiative and are proud to share that at this time the digital book the Indigenous Sport Heroes Education Experience is now live. Tense, Papa Muska Sigasun Paska Musta Soas, Sektuitia, and Muskechiwino, Ganichaisino. My name is Rick Lightning. My soul name is White Bear. I come from the Buffalo Child family and I come from the Bear Hills people. I've been honored to ask the, for to do a, a blessing for the all the youth and all the coaches and the teachers out there. And it's such an honor for me to do that because to be an athlete is being is the new warrior today. It's always been a warrior. It takes the best of you and the effort to learn how to, to test your body and your mind and your spirit to take the new heights. And so these people that are coming to see you are going to talk, talk to you about that. They're going to show you that. So I'm going to say a prayer in my language. I'm Cree, and then I'll sing a blessing song. So if everybody, think about your grandparents and your ancestors when I say this prayer and sing this song. Think about your families at home, the ones that are that are suffering and the ones that are having a hard time, but as well, think about the ones that are doing well and appreciate them. So thank you very much. Hi, hi. Ha-no-tawi-ma-se-wa-tsi-na-ha-na-ask-ma-na-mini-gi-ska-mi-na. <laughs> How up at the Nwasagama ski, Nano gave us sky at those now moxes. Umagagis moy out so we are well, where sick that wap at them. What time I want eight them on six soon, ox soon. Where see we still wap at them, bet them up to us so good. Hector told it sick to be squitzic. Hano Tawi Mouse Watson, wap at the Manista Nano at the moxia was a maskina. The Magama can get a sino. Magan gigate there, quista well, so we mange wheel, give us why he'll talk it. But my great Jimtan, no time, I'll say what's in. Mr. Hay, ask him on, ask him on, I'm Mr. Hay. Hi, hi, hi. Hello, bonjour, udlukut, tansi, kwe kwe. 
On n'entend pas suffisamment parler des athlètes autochtones au Canada. Pourtant, ils sont là. Les mettre de l'avant est crucial pour les jeunes autochtones qui les voient comme des modèles. Ces athlètes les inspirent et leur permettent de croire en leurs capacités et de nourrir leurs rêves. Le projet Héros sportifs autochtones, expérience éducative, propose de raconter les histoires exceptionnelles de 14 membres du Panthéon. Autant d'athlètes qui se sont démarqués dans le sport et qui se sont ensuite impliqués dans leur communauté. L'appel à l'action 87 de la Commission de vérité et réconciliation demande de sensibiliser le public à l'histoire des athlètes autochtones à travers le pays. Ce projet est une excellente façon d'y arriver. Il vise à informer et à inspirer les jeunes, de la maternelle à la fin de leur secondaire, pour qu'ils puissent découvrir des héros vers lesquels se tourner et suivre leurs traces. Les quelques 5 millions d'enfants d'âge scolaire, y compris les 450 000 élèves autochtones, méritent de croire en leur immense potentiel et de réaliser leurs rêves. The web-based multimedia interactive exhibit tells the stories and experiences of indigenous sports heroes, initiating important conversations about equity and inclusion, and inspiring youth people to take concrete action to build a more compassionate, equitable, and inclusive Canada. Sport has the power to change lives. It builds self-esteem, resilience, and leadership skill. It gives young people a sense of belonging and opportunities to explore what they are capable of, physically, mentally, and emotionally. By inspiring young people to participate in sport, this initiative will make a real difference. Chief Wilton Littlechild, one of the 14 Hall of Famers highlighted in this initiative, said, the more we know about each other and the more we work together, building on the strengths of each other, the more united and stronger Canada, our home and native land, will be. His words resonate deeply as we face Canada's history of colonial violence and stand up against ongoing systemic racism and discrimination. Je remercie le Pantheon des Sports canadien de nous offrir une belle occasion de mieux connaître et de mieux nous comprendre les uns les autres. Merci. Thank you. Conseil. God, our Creator, we thank you for giving us this day to spend time with the friends of Canada Sports Hall of Fame. Today we stand tall with gratitude and great pride in the spirit and footsteps of our ancestors. Now I ask you to turn east, face the east, as you are where you are. God, our creator, we first acknowledge the east direction, the direction of the sunrise and new beginnings. The east is the direction of the child. So we pray for the youth of the world. On this day of remembering, mourning and recommitment, we recall the children who were taken and separated from their First Nations, Métis and Inuit families and taken to residential schools. The East is the direction of the child, so we pray for the youth of the world. Help our youth find the balance between past and present in tradition and spirit. We acknowledge the white race that it represents. Now I'll ask you to turn to the South. God, our creator, we now acknowledge the self direction, the direction of summer warmth and abundance. South is the direction of the woman and we honor them as the gateways through which our spirits come to earth. We ask that women everywhere be protected for they are sacred. We acknowledge the color yellow and the yellow race that it represents. Now we'll turn to the West. God, our creator, we next turn to the West direction, the direction of the setting sun and the autumn season. West is the direction 
of the elders. And we honor our elders as the keepers of wisdom and teachers of patience. West is also the direction of our ancestors and we proudly acknowledge those who have gone before us. We acknowledge the color red and the red race it represents. Now we'll turn to the north direction. God, our creator, we now turn to the north direction, the direction of the winter that covers the earth. North is the men's direction and we honor men as the providers and protectors of the family and the nation. We acknowledge the color black and the black race it represents. God, our creator, we ask our creator to be with us today. We also pray for peace among the four races of humankind. Merci, amen, and detoine non. It's my privilege to stand here today on behalf of our company as the presenting sponsor of Canada's Sports Hall of Fame's Indigenous Sports Heroes Education Experience. Today marks the launch of this change maker resource in our country. And we at Black Diamond are honored to be a part of this critical initiative that will help ensure the rich sporting history of Indigenous Hall of Famers is accessible to Canadians across the country. At Black Diamond, our mission is to create a better way, and we embrace this mission in every aspect of our business, whether providing our customers with best-in-class service or supporting community-led initiatives, we strive to create a better way in all that we do. Over the years, we have been lucky to be involved in a number of initiatives with Canada's Sports Hall of Fame, like in 2010 when we hosted the Leadership and Inspiration Day in Fort Nelson, British Columbia, or in 2013 when we hosted an Indigenous Youth Day at the Hall in Calgary. When we learned about this next step in Indigenous education programming through Canada's Sports Hall of Fame, we were compelled to get involved. The Indigenous Sport Heroes Education Experience a first-of-its-kind education exhibit will harness the power of storytelling to educate and inspire youth across Canada and believe that all youth deserve the opportunity to be inspired by these stories. Thank you to each of the sponsors that joined Canada's Sports Hall of Fame to make this initiative a reality. And a thank you to each of the Hall of Famers for your willingness to tell your inspirational stories and provide your wisdom and guidance to make this an authentic and transformational project. I know I am inspired by the stories and history shared and am certain you will be too. Thank you. Hello everyone. Rogers is proud to sponsor the Indigenous Sport Heroes Education Experience and to continue to grow our partnership with Canada Sports Hall of Fame. As an organization, we are committed to inclusion and diversity and together we're on a journey of reconciliation and understanding. This sponsorship plays a critical role in helping to ensure that this education resource is accessible and available to all Canadians. At Rogers, we hope the resource will help promote conversation about Indigenous sport heroes, inspire our youth, and strengthen Indigenous education. As Canada's largest 5G network provider, we know the importance of connectivity. Let's continue to connect with each other and through sport, commit to building a culture of inclusion together. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to represent SAIT and the School of Information and Communications Technologies. Today, it is not only an honor, it is a privilege to be here to celebrate a fantastic collaboration between students and the Sports Hall of Fame. We present the digital book, the digital book not only highlights the empowerment of sport, but also highlights our rich Canadian history in sports, celebrating some of our Indigenous Hall of Famers. We hope that you enjoy the book as much as we do, and we hope that it inspires dialogue and conversation in the form of education.
think that um, if this in, gives hope to even just one child, then this project is absolutely worth it. So um, I guess one child at a time, we, uh, we can make this country stronger. The reason I felt it was important to be part of this important, very important initiative is because of um, like what's happening to Indigenous people clear across the country. And I think it's really, really crucial that we um, that we touch the hearts of young people, because you know we're all we all have some sort of um, gift in us, whether it's in sports, education, whatever. You know, it's really important that we we inspire and encourage these young people to move ahead with their goals and to um, know that um, there's people ahead of them that did wonderful, amazing things. And so it's really important, I feel, that we share our stories with these young people and also elders and you know people right, acro right across the country and um, to know that they can have a glimmer of hope in, in, their, in themselves, you know, looking up to us and like not idolizing us, but just knowing that we um, went through a lot of um, ups and downs and um, we survived, you know, we survived um, Indian day school and residential school. And we have that, that um, deep inner gut feeling that we will always survive. So we wanna put that strong message out there to never give up and to continue pursuing your goals, no matter what obstacles come your way. I always go back to when I was a kid and how there was just so, so few stories, so few stories of, of Indigenous Olympians and even like in particular women, like Indigenous women that were successful. And, you know, I think that that's one of the things that I, I, I always go back to. And I thought, you know, if there's a little girl, little boy that says, you know, hey, like, sh look what she went through. And I know she went on to become an Olympian. Um, you know, maybe I can do it too. Like that, that, um, that, that resiliency is within them, right? That they identify with the story, but also identify with like who I am as an indigenous woman and a person. With, with all the negative press that Aboriginal people get, and you know, the young people particularly, they, they tend to, you know, uh, to um, feel more deeply or the, the bad news like, for most people, uh, uh, has a, a, more an emphasis on on the awareness of people. So it's important to bring to the front that you know that 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 the the um, fact that Indian people or Indigenous people have been outstanding in particular areas that we know of, and particularly in sport since the beginning of the Olympics. Constant authentic, personal greetings to everyone and my sincere gratitude, first to Great Spirit, our Creator. Thank you to all at Canada Sports Hall of Fame, who in their work exemplify our elders' teaching. It's time we lift each other up. The Indigenous Sports Hero Digital Book as an education resource, I believe heeds that instruction by teaching, especially children and youth. It'll promote better awareness of our heroes' resilience, strengths, and better understanding of each other. Thank you, Indigenous athletes, for your tremendous contributions to this project. It will certainly motivate others to choose to celebrate life and benefit through sport. Truth and Reconciliation Commission of Canada, her testimonies about the positive role and power of sport in the Indian residential schools. This led us to specifically call for five actions. In particular, and I quote, sports halls of fame to provide public education that tells the national story of Aboriginal athletes, end of quote. My personal hope is that this will thereby help activate more positive action to promote having good relations in Canada and therefore 
advance true reconciliation. Ninanaska one. Thank you. Represented the hope um, of change and the hope of um, of dreaming big and being able to follow his dreams and, and be able to accomplish them it was um, given an opportunity to be at the start line. That change, in my view, as it relates to sport and, and, and the kind of cultural diversity we have in this country uh, and, and having indigenous, uh, a, a reawaken of indigenous culture and how it relates to sport is gonna change this country. It's gonna change it far greater now than it ever has. You can educate people and teach people that there's a proud indigenous history of their culture um, that contributed to society, contributed to Canada's national sport. Uh, that education will help eliminate some of the, you know, the, the ignorance and prejudice that it still continues to this day. Hi there, my name is Lyric Atchison. I'm an athlete in rugby and I was the 2019 winner of the Tom Longboat Award. I'm so honored to be part of the Indigenous Sport Heroes Education Experience. This digital book is important as it highlights the achievements, contributions, and strength of Indigenous athletes to sport in Canada. It is vastly important not only for Indigenous youth and communities to be able to learn about these amazing athletes and people, but also the rest of Canada. We have faced so much adversity and struggle in a climate which constantly serves to tear us down, and the amazing people featured in this exhibit have risen above it and inspire people everywhere, demonstrating that despite repeated attempts to erase Indigenous peoples and culture, we are still here and we are forced to be reckoned with. To have this digital exhibit to honour and celebrate amazing Indigenous athletes and people means the world to me. I hope it inspires young people to try a new sport and go forward with courage, knowing that they should stand proud of who they are and they can create a legacy of their own. <laughs>
Kaujimatiara Vikisuni, Kaujimayatina, Makaujimangatini, Katsukolo, the Inu Sutun, Inangnulu Inu Sutri Katiluti, Tamakuning Ilinia Sani Ilinia Luti, Tamakuning a Kauji Jawisani Ilinia Luti, Ilinia Katigi Luti, Katikia Luta, Nunaka Katuminu Yutigo, Tema. Nay, nay, you tell me at a neck. Quiennami, your polo look, taqua, kin, kin, what a signal out to you, Ovanna. If canayakti, Kaujimayet, Kumangata, if canayakti, Rema Senen, Saymani Alamakanu, and it yam to me, Yvigilaki, man, Ulun. Ila Kulu Atani Akata of Kilamiti. Tamakoi Kino Rayabu, Naluna Runi near to E. Lapulo Atani Atata Vocalamiti, Jesus declared to Sipiluti. Amen. Tanse, my name is Crystal Clark. I am Cree Dene Metis, originally from Treaty 8 Territory, Fort McMurray, Alberta, currently residing in Treaty 8 Territory near the Rocky Mountains. What an honor and blessing it has been to have been approached to create educational, digital, interactive resources and lesson plans that coincide with celebrating the amazing Indigenous Sports Hall of Famers. Celebrating the Indigenous Sports Hall of Famers exemplifies experiences in which we as Indigenous people have continued to survive and thrive. It is the Nehewayak, the Dene, the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee, the Salish, the Squamish, the Nitsitape, the Métis, the Inuit, the Gwich'in, and whatever Indigenous ancestry flows through our blood, which at times is like a gentle creek, a rushing river, and a plentiful ocean. The Indigenous in us has nourished our hearts, our minds, our bodies, so that we can continue to grow like the indigenous medicines on this land of sweetgrass, sage, cedar, wildflowers, wild berries that sway gently and gracefully in the wind, like the phrase of a traditional dancer's regalia. The Indigenous Sports Hall of Famers life stories are inspirational, and it's important that we as educators seek examples of the truth of Indigenous resilience and brilliance, so to help inspire and activate deeper learning.